Thank you for attending the Bomber Heights Area Water and Sewer Improvement Community Design Meeting. If you have the ability to see the chat message, um, it does have a link, which I'm not sure if you click on that and that'll work or not. Um, but it's, the link is also going to be in the PowerPoint. Your project manager is Liam Conlon. His phone number and his email address are both in the chat. If you can't see the chat, make sure you can um, write down what's on the PowerPoint. After the meeting is over, uh, either by Friday or by Monday, we'll have a copy of this PowerPoint on the project page and a copy of the video on the project page. So you can either watch the video or you can um, flip through the PowerPoint. Um, we're going to have everyone muted until the presentation is over, and then we will take your questions. Liam, you ready? Ready, yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've prepared a different agenda. We have the introductions, we have the project overview, the project area, uh, frequently asked questions, and we have a timeline. Uh, so your project team includes project manager, uh, Liam Conlon, his phone number is 817-392-6824. His email address is liam.conlon at Fort Texas, which is all one word, .gov. And the engineering design consultant, our plumber and associates link, and the project manager is George Farrell. Uh, why are we doing this project? Uh, Fort Worth prioritizes replacing water and sewer lines that have a high risk of failure. Risk of failure is determined based on available data, which includes the following uh, water main break history, leak history, Full circuit television inspection, which is called CCTV, the edge of the line, line material, dead service lines, and cast iron lines. What drives this improvement project? This capital improvement project includes the replacement of existing cast iron water lines. These water lines will be replaced on Mohawk Avenue and Penrose Avenue. Ewing Avenue and Culver Avenue, Harley Avenue and Willis Avenue, Delaware Court and Benbrook Highway, Linden Drive and Mayfair Street, Fairfax Street and Whitecliffe Street, and Cedar Hill Road. The project scope this project is nestled between uh, Benbrook Boulevard, Southwest Boulevard, Mary's Creek. Mary Street and Lowell and Moret Elementary School. The immediate boundaries are Gaston Avenue to the north, Marks Place to the east, Vickery Boulevard to the south, Benbrook Highway slash Highway 377 to the west. The project area, which will cover a couple of pages, so we have Penrose Avenue from Gaston. Avenue to Wycliffe Street, which is water only. Ewing Avenue from Fairfax Street to Penrose Avenue, water only. Mohawk Avenue from Old Benbrook Road to the east, dead end, is water only. Mohawk Avenue from Penrose Avenue to Marks Place, water only. Culver Avenue from Fairfax Street to Penrose Avenue, water only. Harley Avenue from Fairfax Street to Penrose Avenue, water only. Cedar Hill Road from Culver Avenue to Aberdeen Drive is water only. Fairfax Street from Willis Avenue to Whitecliffe Street is water only. Whitecliffe Street from Royal Drive to Fairfax Street is water and sewer. Willis Avenue from Benbrook Highway to Old Benbrook Road is water only. Gilmore Court, which is a circle on Willis Avenue, is water only. Benbrook Highway from Leiden Drive to Willis Avenue is water and sewer. Then Leiden Drive from Highway Drive to Mayfair Street is water and sewer. Mayfair Street from Leiden Drive to Willis Avenue is water. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line. And when the service is transferred from the temporary water to the new line. 
These switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer technically takes 30 minutes per house or business. How does a temporary line impact my home and water bill? Temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continuously flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary water line is based on the average of the previous month's usage with no extra charge. Will you need access to your property? Construction will be in the streets and easements. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you. If an easement is needed for your property, City Land Agent will be contacting you soon. Will sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. Will I have access to my driveway during construction? An inspector will be assigned to the project when we are ready to start construction. The inspector and the contractor will work with residents who need driveway access during active construction hours. Will the city trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Will there be lane closures during construction? Yes, where signs will be posted to alert motors. What are the construction hours? The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. And if requested by the contractor, 8 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Timeline. This project is still in the design phase. We expect to finalize the design, advertise for bids, and select a contractor during the spring summer of 2023. We will host a community construction meeting after we have a contractor on board and before construction starts. Where can I get more information? You can go to www.forwardtexas, which is all one word, .gov, and type in the project number 103382 in the search bar on the home page. Bomber Heights area water and sanitary improvements will pop up. To get project page updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. The link to the project summary slash frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? Emergencies, water main breaks, sewer backups, 24 hours a day, 817-392-4477 and select option one. Non-emergencies, the water call center is from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And it's the same phone number, 817-392-4477, but it's closed on city holidays. Or you can download the My Forward app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Again, the contact information for this project and project manager is Liam Conlon. Phone number is 817-392-6824. And my email address is liam.condon at Fort Worth, Texas. Remember, it's all one word, like golf. And the engineer and design consultant is Plummer and Associates, Inc. And the project manager is George Farrell. 
Thank you and have a nice evening. Okay. Um, I think we got someone from Council District 3's office. Janelle? Did you want to say anything? Yes, no, I, I am here. Sorry about that. I was on my phone and just was able to log in on my computer. No, I am here um, and just happy to be learning and answering any questions that anyone may have of us. Okay. Um, we also have Dave Robertson. Dave, do you have any questions? Uh, yes, a, a couple. First of all, let me just say thank you for the presentation. It answered uh, a number of the questions that I had, and I look forward to uh, clicking on the link and following on with the project. I, I have a, a couple of different homes on the um, on the route that the work will be done, and I have some questions specific to my property uh, that have to do with water and sewer. That I, and I don't want to take in other people's time up here. Uh, would Liam be the perfect or the correct person to be talking to about my individual questions or is he managing this project and should I direct them elsewhere? Liam is your point person for this project. Yeah, I, I, I'm the point person, yeah. There you go. Did yeah. you get his phone number written down? Uh, I, I did not, but I, I, I'll email him so, so, so that okay. he, he can yeah, be that would be and, and his pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right, we also have Serena Moore. Do you have any questions? Nope, I'm here with uh, Plumber. Oh, okay, great. Okay, and we have a call-in user. I'm not sure if that's one of us or if that's uh, another resident. Okay. Um, Liam, can you go back to that slide that shows how they can get to the project page? Okay, so this one's really easy because there's not a lot of um, projects that have the word bomber in them. So 103.382 will get you straight to that page. As Liam said, if you want to keep track of the progress, we try to update the um, anything once a month. Sometimes we get a little bogged down, it, it takes two months. But um, if you will go to the bottom of that project page and it says subscribe to this page, whenever I do an update, it's going to send you an email. It won't tell you what I've updated, um, but it does tell you the page was updated, so you can ask questions if you have those. And Liam, I think we said spring or summer of 2023 will come back. Is that correct? For construction? We still have to um, get a contractor on board. I'm pretty sure that was spring and summer of this year. Yes, okay. Anybody else have any questions at all? This is Dave Roberts again. If I could jump in with a, a quick question, uh, and I know this is a tough one to answer. Um, I, I saw the, all the work on Mary's Creek. I know it takes quite a while to get it all done. Uh, so uh, do we have a projected completion date at this time? Liam, we'll have that once we get a contractor on board. Can you answer that for me? Hang on, hang on just a second, guys. Dave, can you ask your question again? We were having technical difficulties. Oh, sure, no worries. I was wondering if uh, you had a projected completion date at this point. Uh, hey, Liam? Oh, not, at, not at this point because we, when we get the contractor on board and we get closer to starting construction, we will have another another meeting, which will be a construction meeting with the contractor, a, a public meeting just like this. And at that point, then we'll have a better idea of when the contractor would be what the schedule will be. And, and will we get another notice of that meeting like we got yes. the, a notice of this meeting? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yes. great. And um, I noticed that uh, we're primarily doing water. 
Uh, I noticed that on Mary's Creek, we did gas, water, and sewer, and then you repaved the street and put in sidewalks. Any of that uh, additional work in that in this project, will you be repaving the street? Will you be putting in sidewalks? No, not now. Okay, thank you. Okay. If that's all the questions we have, uh, just give me until at least Tuesday to make sure the project page is updated. Again, we will turn this WebEx video into a YouTube video. So you're going to be looking for a YouTube video link on the right side of the bar. And we will also do a PDF of this PowerPoint so you can just flip through it if you want to um, get some answers that way. And we'll probably come back and see you in about six months or less. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.